welcome to javaization and as of now we have discussed the introductions of the uh, exception handling but now we are going to discuss about like what are the use and benefits and we are doing the practical also in this video okay so quickly we can understood what is the checked exception okay so checked exception means the exception that must be catch and handle at compile time what do you mean by compile time so compile time means if any exception is occurred at compile time that means that is the compile time exception it means that input output exception like uh, if you write some code and they will force you no you have to implement it you have to write this line of the code inside the try and catch block it means the line of the code is forcing you to put me inside the try and catch block it means that that is the compile time exception okay so the in the interview room you can say the checked exception and unchecked exception you can say also compile time exception and runtime exception here you can see okay so those are the differences you can say and uh, unchecked exception means and runtime exception means uh, uh, in the previous video we have seen like some array index out of bound exception null pointer exceptions yeah something like uh, we have got some like arithmetic exception so those exception will come inside the unchecked exception it means while we run the code that time we are getting the exception that is called a unchecked exception or runtime exception okay so i hope both differences are clear what is the checked exception what is the unchecked exception okay second point we can discuss these exception are the checked by the compiler so whenever we are write those code it will check by the compiler which means that the program must which means the programmer must handle them using the try and catch block or declare them to the by thrown by the method using the throws keyword if you not handle it your uh, your code will not compile and it will not run also okay so it will force you no you have to handle any way that is called compile time exception or checked exception okay next is next point is example of the checked exception in java is file not found exception input output exception sql exception class not found exception so when we learn the jdbc that time we can get sql exception class not found exception means uh, something we have written which is we don't know and maybe those class is not uh, available and we have written those class so it will say compile time exception file not found exception means uh, we are try to read some file and uh, those file is not available in that particular folder then we can get file not found exception input output exception means if, we, if you are doing work with the some uh, write data from the file read data from the some file and we are writing some code for the input output stream so that time we can get this input output exception so i hope it's clear what is the checked exception what is the compile time exception okay and this is very very important also unchecked exception unchecked exception also known as a runtime exception are not checked by the compiler it means that they can occurs at runtime so compiler will not check compiler will not understand what is the runtime exception it's checked by the runtime only okay unchecked exception occurs due to the programming error so this is the second point unchecked exception occurs due to the programming error such as a logic error or null pointer reference and they can be uh, prevented by writing a correct code so you have to write a correct code to handle the unchecked exception okay so you have to remember this point and write the correct code don't write any uh, uncorrect code otherwise you can get runtime exception okay example of the unchecked exception in java is null pointer exception it's a very very famous exception everybody people are getting this exception in some point of the time array index out of bound exception as of now two or three times i have seen this exception 
एरे इंडेक्स आउट ऑफ बाउंड एक्सेप्शन अर्थोमेटिक एक्सेप्शन जस्ट बिफोर वी हैव सीन वाइल डिवाइडिंग एनी नंबर विद द जीरो वी आर गेटिंग द अर्थोमेटिक एक्सेप्शन लेट्स गो टू द सेकेंड स्लाइड एंड अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द एग्जैक्ट हेरारकी ऑफ एर एंड एक्सेप्शन सो इफ यू सी हियर द रेड मार्क इज कॉल्ड अन चेक एक्सेप्शन एंड ब्लू मार्क इज कॉल्ड चेक एक्सेप्शन सो दिस इज द ऑब्जेक्ट विच इज बाई डिफॉल्ट ए पेरेंट ऑफ एवरी क्लासेस एंड थ्रो थ्रो एबल इज द पेरेंट ऑफ एक्सेप्शन हेरारकी ओके थ्रो एबल हैविंग ए टू क्लासेस विच इज एर एंड एक्सेप्शन एरर हैविंग ए सम एक्सेप्शन लाइक आउट ऑफ मेमोरी एरर स्टैक ओवरफ्लो लीकेज एरर इलीगल आर्गुमेंट एक्सेप्शन नंबर फॉर्मेट एक्सेप्शन अर्थोमेटिक एक्सेप्शन नो नो दिज एक्सेप्शन विल कम इन साइड द रन टाइम एक्सेप्शन वनली एरर विल कम इन साइड दिस आउट ऑफ मेमोरी एंड स्टैक ओवरफ्लो एंड लीकेज एरर यू हैव टू सी द क्लियरली दिस पार्ट इज वनली एरर डोंट गो एनी वेयर ओके दिस पार्ट इज एरर and this part if you go exception you can see you can see these are the two types one is run time exception one is uh, input output exception so run time exception means and this is the compile time exception so compile times it will come like file not found exception stack socket exception okay and in the run time exception you can get illegal argument exception uh, index out of bound exception in that hierarchy you can get uh, a uh, number format exception arithmetic exception array index out of bound exception this is the some basic classes implemented classes you can check it out and also please 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 remember two error implemented classes which is out of memory error or stack overflow error or leakage error if you remember any of two you have to remember in the ex run time exception you have to remember two or three इन द एक्सेप्शन हेरारकी लाइक आई ओ एक्सेप्शन हेरारकी चेक एक्सेप्शन यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर एटलीस्ट टू और थ्री इम्प्लीमेंटेड क्लासेस सो वेन एवर इंटरव्यूअर विल आस्क यू हे डू यू नो वॉट इज द हेरारकी ऑफ द एक्सेप्शन डू यू नो कैन यू प्लीज गिव मी सम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द कंपाइल टाइम एक्सेप्शन कैन यू प्लीज गिव मी द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द रन टाइम एक्सेप्शन सो डेट टाइम यू कैन गिव एटलीस्ट सम क्लासेस नेम हे Checked exception means file not found exception, socket exception like that. Okay, I hope it clear. And these are the some basic questions exception related we have. So I have collected and I will give to you so that please practice. Okay. So whenever if someone ask you like what is exception handling, so exception handling is a mechanism to provide the alternate code for the uh, exception occurred code and uh, that is called exception handling. okay what is the purpose of exception handling so like whatever the errors and something damage happen in our code and we have to provide some alternate way we to proceed some further operation then we can go with the exception handling and that is very important what are the different type of the exception two types of the exception checked exception unchecked exception what are the difference between the checked and unchecked so you can go through that and try to analyze try to understand okay maybe the interviewer will ask you in that also i have given some more questions also okay what will happen why use multiple catch block is there any pos uh, possibility when the final block is not executed so just you have to think about these questions and uh, i will cover each and everything in our practical session but as of now that is enough and uh, i hope you understood what is the exception okay so if i talk about this one like uh, difference between checked and unchecked we have already covered in this slides okay this is the checked and this is the unchecked okay so checked exception occur in the run time unchecked will be occur in the compile time no no uh, it's a wrong i have said so checked exception means compile time unchecked exception means run time what will happen behind the code int data equal to 50 by 0 so if you divide any number with the zero it will become infinite and infinite will not store inside the integer type of the data so what will happen we can get one exception which is arithmetic exception okay so you have to think about it like that why use the multiple catch block so sometimes uh, whatever the in the try block we have written some code and maybe the 
we have a confusion maybe it will throw two or three exception that time we can write a multiple catch block if it is not handled then it will handle it like that there is any possibility when the finally block is not executed no there is no possibility because finally block always executed in any situation so finally block will always executed what is the exception propagations so exception propagation means like we have to have some hierarchy of a exception yeah exception chaining you can say so those are the exception propagations like uh, you are throwing the exception and some method are handling those and another method is again handling it so that is called the exception propagation what is the difference between the throw and throws keywords so throw and throw keyword we are using for what for handle the like throwing the exceptions okay we don't want to handle it we have to throw the exception so that you can case you can use the throw exception what are the four rules of using exception handling with the method overriding okay four rules so you can think about it and search on the googles okay and try to understand this is the for you okay and this is also try i will try to cover okay in the next practical session and you can understood in the best way okay thank you so much we can meet next video